What if I told you that maths is more than just numbers on a paper? It's more than just the homework that takes you hours to complete. It's more than just the exam you've got to give at the end of the year. What most of us don't know is that there's a whole world of maths that's creative, complex, and a lot more fun to learn if we're looking in the right direction. Today, we'll be speaking to Dr. Saket Sora, a mathematician and computer scientist, for his take on why maths is a subject we should all consider pursuing. Before we start, be sure to like and subscribe so you can keep seeing content like this. Let's get into it. First question, what does it mean to be a mathematician? That's a very good question. And like, okay, I think this is something which I'm still trying to figure out what it means to be a mathematician. So it's a, it's basically a journey. You, we all start from our high school when we like something, right? I started to read mathematics, okay? Not solve mathematics, but I started to read mathematics in the sense that, I mean, up until then I was like, okay, this is a problem, let's solve it, okay? So you do a couple of, problems of that kind and then answer it. But then I started to read it because I just wanted to understand like what it is to be able to do it myself. Okay. That was the whole purpose. But this is how I think uh, my affection towards maths developed. What mathematicians meant, people do mathematics for profession. When I was taught by people who were professional mathematicians, they were doing mathematics for their livings. And when I came to see when I saw these people from some close quarters that I started to understand what mathematics means, like how we can also imagine abstract objects. Look, in physical sciences, you can see things. So it's much easier to, but in mathematics, since it is a world which you have built, at many times you just don't know where the outcome will be, like where it can be used. So you have to get out of some of these things and still enjoy the objects you create. Like for me personally, it's a process of understanding and creating new knowledge is what it is. A lot of people think that maths, while it's useful in science, they think that maths isn't a science itself. Um, what do you think? Do you think maths is a science or is it something different? Oh, that's a very good question. Look at the lot of research that happens in physics. A lot of, uh, a lot of research that happens in biological sciences, right? At some point of time, because of invent of computers, computing comes into play. If computing comes into play, maths comes into play, right? So. I don't think anything will exist without an existence of maths and other. From the topmost perspective, science is just one thing, you know, like we have just divided this into maths, physics, this. Like as you go further up, like problem could arise in any of the sciences and you need ways. For example, uh, people started to string theory in physics. But if you look at the kind of articles they write, because in the physics they need the kind of math they need, they, they first develop those maths apply in physics to explain the physical phenomena. So in my opinion, maths is all in nature and it's a way physics this, like everything has its coexistence with maths and that is what allows us to understand nature about ourselves much better. Now, could you talk about a couple of the most exciting things you worked upon in maths in your own career, perhaps mm -hmm. related to your own specialization or just things that you've had um, exposure to? I'm an algorithmist or a computer scientist who does math, which uses mathematics. Okay. So the one or two things which I could tell you, which I personally enjoyed. Uh, uh, now I give you two abstract objects as a class and say, hey, are they same? Now we need to have a notion of what similarity means. So there's a very well defined notion of what similarity means with the help of functions. Okay. So for what some of the special cases of this, we designed uh, some of the like the cutting is objects or cutting is algorithms to that, which I'm very happy about because it's an interesting algorithm. Uh, other things that what happens is that, look, most times when we are doing something, it's like we try to apply heuristics. Okay. What I mean, oh, this looks okay to do this. So let's do that. And I'm hoping that that will lead to an answer. Okay. So we formalize some of these things in maths. So what kind of process of what kind of algorithms are there, which will mathematically maintain the desire, maintain the solution. So these kind of algorithms that we design for very hard problems or difficult problems is what I would consider another important contribution that I have done in general. Okay, certainly. You mentioned that um, in a lot of cases in maths, you shouldn't let heuristics determine the outcome. 
Um, I feel like that's one of the places where maths is slightly different from the other sciences because, you know, we've all heard how most of the important inventions that we have today, like penicillin as an example, they came up because somebody, you know, had an intuition or had an accident and, you know, they managed to create something useful out of it. How far would you say that's true for maths? Does it happen? That yes. the sort of intuition or accident, you get something cool? Yes. Yeah, of course. Look, any science intuition is something which governs on. Like now, how do you derive this intuition is a very different thing. Sometimes you derive intuition from nature, right? So that will be true about physical sciences and this. Sometimes we derive intuition because you have built up things in your head, right? So you are reading something, you are passing something, and like some phenomena you see, and that kind of unstucks you what you're thinking. So that uh, is like maths is as much intuitive science as any other things. Okay. So like definition of intuition can change. Like you could be you, the intuition could come from a very real life, real practical objects, or it could just come from your uh, scientific endeavor. So yeah, intuition is what governs even mathematical science. Now, what I'd like to ask you is how exactly would you determine between say statistics and algebra, algebraic maths and geometric maths based on the kinds of career opportunities you get from them? There are two things you should think about. One, am I looking for career as a mathematician? Then all of these sciences have equal potential. Okay. Am I looking for a career as say for example, data scientist or people working in machine learning and some of these things? Statistics probability comes into play, and that's a science which I would say that one should pursue. If you are trying to pursue something in, say, crypto and these kind of things, then learning about algebraic geometry, again, probability will be very, very useful. So, I believe that till undergraduate, one should learn all forms of pure maths, in the like algebraic, geometric, this. I don't think till undergraduate, one should differentiate between these subjects because. It is important to know basic grounding of each of these parts of mathematics so, so that you know how they are related. Understood. Now, now, this is a question I will ask you from the perspective of a student myself. A common problem which you might be familiar with yourself is that most students today find maths to be a really difficult subject. Um, it is the most scoring obviously because it tends to be quite objective. But why do people find it so difficult to understand? Uh, because in the because I think there are a couple of reasons for it. A, uh, somehow the teaching in maths is not as it should be even in the beginning. And uh, as I was saying in the beginning, the most maths becomes like nobody teaches the idea behind why something is okay. And since we are not able to find some of these things in nature around us that much concretely, we also lose interest. For example, if someone told us that 5 plus 7 is 12, right? But how additions need to be done? What is the meaning of unit? What is the meaning of, uh, like, you know, we teach 53 plus 96, let's add this one goes there. But what it is, like, so this, there's no relation between the numbers and what these numbers represent, okay? So it like so by the time still seven eight we are only doing some of these things fractions this we have already taken students so far away from imagination and reality it's like it is not something which is very natural to you so you start to lose interest so I think it would have been taught a bit more properly I don't think anybody will feel uh, that much disconnect from maths. What advice would you give to students who actually want to pursue mathematics um, in the future or perhaps even research in science? What advice would you give them? Unlike in 90s, early 90s, when engineering and technology was the was the way to go or medicine, right? Now in India, we have amazing number of science institutes like ISOs, IAC, ISI, CMI. So first of all, now we have amazingly great set of basic science institutes, which probably did not exist at that point of time. So that's one thing. Secondly, don't worry if you just like maths. Please go and do maths. Okay, you don't have to suffer yourself through other subjects if you are not able to enjoy. Okay, that's right. So please follow your passion and do math. If you love physics, please go and do physics. I mean, and these issues provide you that opportunity that 
gives you an opportunity to learn these subjects in totality, right? So that's second thing. Thirdly, because of this great institution organization, there is no lack of jobs. If you change your mind after three or five years and you want to pursue not academia, but you want to pursue industry job, please go ahead. There's a thousands and thousands of opportunities for that. The myth that if we do basic sciences, it may not result in a good job. And this is no more true. If you are good, there's always a job for you. This is Science Teens, where we meet experts and ask questions that can help you make the right study and career decisions in the sciences. I do this as a fellow student, and your support through a like and subscription will give me and everyone contributing to this channel a lot of encouragement.